Now, from Into Tomorrow, this is an ITTV special report. Our next guest is showing some very interesting product here at IFA, some green devices, if you will. He is the Director of Product Strategy for Eton Corp, and his name, if I can get it right, is Kalash Hirama. Was correct. I close? That's on the money. On the money. <laughs> well, welcome into tomorrow. Glad to have you with us. Uh, first of all, tell me what it is that, that Solra, is that how you pronounce it, Solra? That's correct, yeah. It, one of the things that getting a lot of attention here, and uh, tell me what it's all about. So Solra is the uh, the first solar-powered iPod speaker system. Oh. And uh, what it does is it uh, plays and charges your iPod or iPhone, and um, it has an internal lithium-ion rechargeable battery and it uh, is able to play your iPhone for well over eight hours. Um, you know, it's a great f to take it to the beach. When you get a chance for our radio audience, check out the video because we're doing video of all the interviews and you'll see this very cool solar panel on top that just flips open, right? And that's, right. that's where you're getting the power and uh, I'm making it uh, glare on purpose on the on the video so you can see how solary it is. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the iPod right inside just throw it in there and it's going to charge for you. Right. Love it. And of course you have controls on it as well. So now it's a stereo system. You've got speakers and controls on the top. So it's a very rugged looking device. That's right. And it's completely splash proof when the panel's closed. So it's great, for, you know, poolside or yeah, at the beach. Take it on the boat, whatever. That's right. Yeah, don't throw it overboard. It's, no, probably, no, no. it's probably not going to survive that. <laughs> but the fact that it's splash proof, I'm liking that That's idea. Right. And, uh, and solar powered, how much? How long will it take in, let's say, a full day's sun sure. uh, in order to power uh, charge one of the devices? So if you if you charge it fully beforehand and then you take it to the beach, it'll play for well over eight hours. Oh, but if it's okay. completely dead, it'll take about eight to ten hours in the sun to charge. Yeah. Um, but while it's charging, it'll also be playing and charging Good. your iPod or iPhone. Yeah, exactly. Either one. So you, and it might be an emergency, a music emergency right. <laughs> that you, that you need this power. So the fact is, you can take advantage of it. Now, is it available? on the market yet? Yeah, so in the U.S. it's uh, available at the Apple Store. It's uh, available Good. on Amazon.com, REI, L.L. Bean. So those are just some of the uh, Good retailers. stuff. And do you have a U.S. dollars price tag? Yeah, uh, it uh, retails for $200. Okay, good. Reasonable, especially for all that it can do. Right. And obviously you can plug it into the wall if you're actually not having to use solar That's right. energy only. That's right. But you can be very green and yeah. just stick it in the window and let the sun charge it for you, right? <laughs> right. And do that. Now, you're also showing some other devices. What are these very cool-looking things here? Um, so this is the uh, the Eton Scorpion. It's actually a, kind of a multifunction outdoor tool. It's a AM, FM, weather band radio. Um, it has a solar panel that charges its internal battery. Um, it's also got a bottle opener here. Is that, that what that is? Yeah. It's a, it is. It's a <laughs> bottle opener. Love it. Well, um, there are priorities, you know. Exactly. You, you yeah. got your cold beer. Now you've got your right. your radio. Um, that's it's also got uh, a dynamo. It's a it's a hand crank. Ah. So when you really need the power I immediately, you can crank that up, and um, you can also plug in any. Uh, USB device and so this get is, sort of emergency charge. With it's the a hand crank with a USB port, even. Right. Loving it. Right. All right. Oh, and, and not to be outdone, there's even a digital clock on this side. Right. So <laughs> digital clock. It also has an AM/FM weather band radio, yeah. um, and then a flashlight on the end here. So it's really there kind of a, an all-terrain multifunction unit. <laughs> and this is called what again? This is the Eton Scorpion. The Scorpion. Yeah. It's a very uh, cool-looking black and green. Uh, device right. that, uh, again, with the solar panel in the front, so right. just lay it out there on the beach. Uh, again, very rugged looking as well to do the job for you. Right. Now, while we're talking about cool devices, let me bring in uh, this other item sure. here, the this Solaris. Is, actually, this is the uh, Eton Raptor. The oh, name the Raptor. <laughs> the name change to protect their innocence. All right. right. Um, so this, this is actually the first solar-powered um, altimeter, barometer, and compass. Uh, cool. So it's got the ABCs of outdoor... Um, usage for you. And it also has an AM, FM weather band radio, a large display, uh, nice user interface. We wanted to keep it real simple. And this utilizes the same solar technology that the Solra utilizes. It's a high efficiency monocrystal solar panel. And this can charge pretty much any USB device. Um, just peel back this little tab here so you can see the uh, oh, yeah. control. So you can hook up your digital camera, your iPhone, um, pretty much any USB device, and it'll dump charge that it, from its internal battery to th that product. That's very cool. And, of course, uh, the idea of being very green, and it's got a very nice, large solar panel on the back. Right. Uh, for being such a small item, I mean, you're taking advantage of a lot of real estate That's here right. uh, to be able to do a good solar charge. Is this kind of where Eton is heading, as well as a lot of companies trying to help us be more green? Right. Certainly? And, you know, our vision at Eton 
is really to bring uh, solar technology to the forefront of consumer products. And the reason is we want to show consumers that solar technology is inexpensive, it's easy to use, yeah. um, and it's not what people think. You know, the, the, the perception is, well, it's expensive, you know, I have to do a lot of installation. But we wanted to bring it to consumer products in a unique way. Well, you're doing just that, no <laughs> doubt. Well, what's, what's around the corner and into tomorrow for Eton? What else are you working on that you can share with us at this point? Sure. So we also have a line of products. Um, we license the American Red Cross brand name, and we develop um, a lot of emergency radios, um, AM, FM, weather band radios, and um, they're under the American Red Cross brand name. And then also we're going to be developing a lot more products uh, around you know, iPod and iPhone and, and portable devices. Now, you uh, mentioned the Red Cross. Is that part of the uh, September being National Preparedness Month? Exactly. Uh, and you guys are certainly very heavily involved in helping to get the word out about be ready for any catastrophe. That's right. And especially now that you know hurricane season is, is around the corner or even now. Yeah, we're around. in the middle of it. Right, yeah. exactly. <laughs> being normally when we're not traveling the world, uh, we often uh, spend a little time at home in right. Miami, Florida. So <laughs> we certainly can relate to watching out for hurricanes. Right. So, so we have uh, emergency radios, a line of very durable aluminum flashlights, um, a night light and er alert light as well. So Excellent. Uh, kind of a total gamut of uh, emergency solutions here. Yeah. Well, by all means, check out their website for all the cool things they're doing and the involvement with helping uh, keep us prepared as well as green. It's etoncorp.com, E-T-O-N corp, C-O-R-P, dot com for more info. And, of course, we'll link you there when you hit us up at intotomorrow.com. Thanks for spending a few minutes with us here at the very busy Showstoppers press event at IFA. Thank you very much. We're back with more from Berlin, Germany. I'm Dave Graveline. Don't go away because Into Tomorrow has lots more for you.